listen up guys, Chris Crone here and today we're talking about how to do a financial planning analysis and I'm about to do some live sparring with one of the best advisors out there in the game. Cause we're gonna be legends, what we're doing here ain't just scary, it's about to be legendary. All right, so check it, I'm just messing with you, buddy. Listen, Rob Gill, seriously, this guy is the man of epic wealth, and I couldn't think of a better guest to bring on when talking about how to do a financial planning analysis. And it feels a little bit like sparring sometimes, That's right? right? Yeah, exactly, 100%. And financial planning analysis by paralysis could put you in a bad state if you don't have a proper strategy. Boom, I think you just dropped some nuggets right there, man. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay. so you want me to get into the, yeah, the analysis I do, strategy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, today we're gonna talk about the three steps of how you actually do an analysis with financial planning. Now, just because I'm messing around, I need you to understand, the level of success that, that this man and his organization have, there's no messing around. The reality is, this guy runs my entire back end financially, so when I'm not doing all this stuff in real estate, these are the guys who manage my money. I'm introducing them to you today because every real estate investor, even before you make your first dollar, needs to have a back end team of people financially smarter than you, these guys are crazy much smarter than me, and that means that I get to be the smartest guy in the room because like Henry Ford said, you surround yourself Absolutely. with the smartest people. Yes. So, Rob, you're the smart guy. Break down the three steps of the financial analysis plan. So for us, and when we deal with Chris and we understand his whole operation so he could do what he does, we want to focus on gathering all the financial data first. We want to take that data and put it on one landing page so we could organize it in the most efficient, most effective manner possible. So when you see it, it's at a click of a button, it's real time and it's constantly updated. Okay, now by the way, this is kind of weird because that's not normal in the industry. Normally it's like, I gotta gather this from here and I got my files here and I gotta my paper here and I made my password there. But you guys actually pull your entire financial picture into one login. We draw it down. So that at any given moment, you can see everything that's going on. So Absolutely. that's that's pretty awesome. So one, you gotta get organized. Yep. Super organized, you guys got that down. Absolutely. What's step two? Once we're organized and once we look at the data and understand what your core values are, you know, from a financial standpoint, we want to then go back to the laboratory, which I like to call the financial. Pause, laboratory. when he says what your core values are, they're my core values, it's called make a lot of money in real estate, okay? It's about you being in charge of your financial destiny and not putting that on anyone else's shoulders, it's on your shoulders, Pause. I couldn't help myself. Take that and okay. rewind <laughs> it back. Take that and rewind it back. Yeah, I don't know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, okay, for real though. Yeah. Step two is once you're all organized, then you gotta what? So we're gonna come back and then we're gonna come, we're, we're gonna understand what your goals and objectives are mm. within the core value of your world, come back with a strategy and a solution that's based on what you're looking to accomplish. Awesome, so guys, coming back with that, I wanna help you understand something. Most financial planners, I would never get near, I would never touch because all they do is manage your money for fees, getting backdoor money coming in, and at the end of the day, if you were to say, when can I retire? You're never gonna get a straight answer because they're in the business of getting paid to manage money, not help you hit an objective. So what's so different about what you guys is incredible, explain that. I will, that's a great point. So what Chris is talking about is really a cookie cutter approach plan to planning where, hey, this is what you're gonna do and this is what everybody blah, else blah, does. Blah, blah, 401k, blah, blah, exactly. stock market. It's like, come on, man, that's not gonna get me where I wanna go. Exactly, because it's not tying into who you really are. So we customize plans by understanding what you're really looking to accomplish, where you are today, what you've done and where you wanna go, and tying it into the models and methodologies with the scientific approach, keeping it real simple, I promise, to get you there from the most tax efficient manner, complementing real estate, Chris Crone limitless strategy of the science of success that he's put together. Okay, now that run on sentence needs to be rewound and re-listened to. You that want me to take a, that rewind? No, 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 it's, it's good. <laughs> Here's what you and I know, because listen, you're a subscriber to my channel, right? And if you are, you know that goal number one is the only way you're gonna become financially free is if you know how much money you gotta residually have to live life on your terms the way that you wanna be living it. So for example, my wife and I, when we said when we have 10,000 a month residually coming in, I can quit my job. It took four and a half years, I had 12,000 a month, I quit my job, best day of my life, and that year I tripled my income because I had no idea what I was capable of once I finally got rid of that monkey on my back, felt more like an 800 pound gorilla. Absolutely. You guys understand when they say what your goals and objectives are, we know that what that means is all my assets producing a residual that creates freedom for me. Yes, and our third step is to constantly measure and see where you're at 
reward and, and really celebrate your successes and then move forward to the next phase of, of, of what you want to do. So when we're talking about an analysis, you've got to be able to actually go back and look at the plan and revisit it and rebalance it and say, hey, absolutely. for example, look, guys, a little bonus here, okay? One of my favorite strategies most people don't know is that I have my own bank. I don't go bank it some old bank down the street, I have my own bank. These guys actually set me up with a bank that actually pays me, on average, four or five percent. It's untouchable, I can access it, use this thing, and guess what I do? I store money in it, and then I pull it out and I put it in real estate, and I earn money in two places at once, creating massive dual protection and dual taxes. It's crazy. So, for example, step three here, I might do that for six months, and then we put our heads back together, and it's like, hey, you set something aside, it's time to dump that into real estate. Absolutely. Let's go. Yes. Because the real goal is assets that perform, that help you have the residual income that takes care of you. So guys, I'm not confused here. And I know that Rob isn't either. These three steps, they're super important with understanding how to do a financial planning analysis. And listen, if you want to have a chance to actually work with, these guys are, I call them my team. I'm probably their team. I don't know which it is. But if you want this team to be your team, if you want my team, to be your team, that's gonna cost you nothing. I've actually, this is kind of the cool thing. They did this for me. I asked if they would do it for you. And what they do is if you click the link in the description below and say, hey, I wanna know what it's all about. What's Chris Krohn really doing with this money? They'll do the same thing for you. Now, if you're setting money aside every month, call it even 50 bucks, 100 bucks, not a lot. If you're setting something aside someday to go into real estate or something, or you're like, Chris, I got hundreds of thousands sitting in my 401k or doing nothing for me, it doesn't pay me anything, these guys are the ones to talk to. So you click the link in the description, fill out the information, clickety-click, and then they're going to be contacting you and saying, all right, let's do your financial plan analysis, and they're gonna do that as fiduciaries, which means legally they can't get paid any funny backdoor money no monkey business like most people in the industry have. These guys are in the top percentile of successful planners. That's why I selected them, and I'm so excited that they now get to be your team. Any final words of wisdom? Just give us a call. We'll, we'll take the next action step to show you where you want to go based on what your goals and objectives are and put a map together for you that's real simple, understandable, and you can do it on the back of a napkin like you're five years old. Dude, Rob, thank you so much, buddy. Listen, you guys, make sure that you guys subscribe. Ring that bell. We'll be seeing you tomorrow.